Stan Gibalisco here. <clears throat> You're looking at the base of my 22 foot tall vertical antenna, uh, which is loaded at the at the very bottom with a 50 picofarad <clears throat> capacitor to cause it to be resonant on the 14 megahertz band. Let me just pan down. Now in that tube there covered up with gorilla tape and electrical tape is the 50 picofarad capacitor and uh, that is right at the feed point in the base. Radials go underneath the deck and right in the center of your screen now you're looking at uh, the place where I can slide that whole antenna right out of its uh, right out of about the three feet or three and a half feet at the bottom. I'm going to do that right now. I lay that antenna down. I can take the tubing sections apart and lay it right down on the deck so that in the event of a thunderstorm, in addition to this precaution, I disconnect the little base region here, this little tube here, from the radio right down underneath the deck, down underneath here. Uh, actually a short section of coaxial cable goes into the woodshed and then uh, I disconnect it with a BNC connector that I've showed you in other videos. See how long it took me to take that out of there? About 15 seconds. I'm constantly watching the radar now. Constantly watching the radar all the way now until the uh, end of the thunderstorm season. The thunderstorm season here runs from about May through October and winter lasts from October through May with about a month of overlap. Uh, tomorrow uh, we're expecting rain, although not heavy thunderstorms, we, but last night we had a, a thunderstorm kick up its heels and move in here and threaten us with dangerous lightning, which fortunately never materialized, but that threat eternally exists, as does the threat of large hail. So I've devised a scheme to park big number eight as far under this deck as I possibly can. Now let me put this antenna back. <clears throat> It takes a little bit longer to do that. Now this is a, about a 22 foot, 21 foot tall thing and it can get a little unwieldy. Uh, if you've ever tried to do anything like this with a, an antenna that tall. Now these are aluminum tubing sections from Texas Towers. Texas Towers makes uh, sections of aluminum tubing six feet long that slide into each other and then to, to block it, to keep it from sliding down further, I just wrap some electrical tape or Gorilla tape around there, just enough to keep it from sliding down. And then uh, each section, one above the other, the, its own weight will hold it down. Uh, fortunately, I don't think we're expecting thunderstorms tonight that are heavy enough to justify removing this from here, although I always disconnect my antenna from the radio when I'm not using the radio. The, uh, the only real way to protect against lightning pretty much of a guarantee is to do something like this. And then in addition, for good measure, you can ground the coaxial cable that leads to the uh, radio. You can short circuit the center conductor to the shield or plug the whole thing into a grounded BNC connector. You really have to take every precaution that you possibly can if you really want to protect your radio against lightning. And in addition, ideally, I guess you'd have to unplug it from the wall too. Uh, then short of a ca catastrophic lightning strike that burns the whole house down, I think the radio will be all right. Stan Gibalisco, W1GV, Whiskey One, Good Vibrations.
saying 73 and so long for now.